there's always an opportunity for all of us to make some difference in someone's lives around us. And um, I know it could be well, your spouse who is just beside you on bed, or it could be your child, it could be a neighbor's son or daughter, it could be even somebody just in the neighborhood or somebody you don't know at all. Well, we hope that we can all, based on what we do each hour of the day, impact someone's life. And we have a, a great piece of motivation for you, uh, and it will be brought to you by the morning man, but um, he's here. Good morning to you, Kojo. Hello, Daddy Roro. Looking all regal and iconic <laughs> this morning. I'm sure people will be looking at you and thinking, oh, yes, this is the man. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking regal and iconic. Regal and iconic, I, Charlie. I, I love and that. And I got Thank you. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Very Thank welcome. You. It's good Thank to you. see you. Charlie, my powder, look, we've got a job to do. Yeah, we've We're got a job ready to do. And excited to do it. It's really good of you all to join us this morning. Uh, it's a day before Independence Day, uh, an Independence Day that Ghana wants to celebrate differently. You know, taking it all the way up uh, to the northern part of the country to to celebrate those who have uh, worked hard for peace in that part of the nation, and so. Uh, as we get ready for it, we have a big show to talk about big issues right here. Uh, lawyer Roxton Nelson Dafiamako, uh, who is the MP for South Dain, will be here alongside the MP for Second D, uh, also a lawyer, Andrew Ijapa Mercer. And uh, of course, we'll be talking about all the uh, recent issues, this leaked tape. Uh, we'll talk about day 10 of the Commission's hearing. We'll also talk about Galamsee and those who appear to be undermining the president's uh, intentions. And then, of course, those who are now speaking against the findings of that investigation by Anas. Uh, fascinating stuff. We'll deal with it all right here on the show. Yes, and uh, it's good that we're, we're marking six March. Uh, that will be tomorrow, definitely. Mm -hmm. And uh, within the period and the whole month, uh, we here have declared it the Ghana month, and I'm sure that many corporate institutions have as well. And so we're telling you, Many of the things that are just around us that have great history, apparently, that you and I didn't know about. And that's what we do right here on the show. And talking about all that uh, there is to celebrate with the independence and the struggles around it. We have Stone Boy also convening a concert. It was um, uh, it's something that we always needed to talk about. And so we'll bring you the gist of it right here on the show. That's right. Big concert tonight in commemoration of our 62nd Day of Independence. Now, GIJ will stop by as well, uh, the Ghana Institute of Journalism. They're celebrating their 60th anniversary. Uh, and of course, they'll be here to tell us all about it, all they plan to do uh, to be a better institute for you and I, you know, all of, those who, all of those of us who benefit from good journalism here in Ghana. So stay tuned, that's all coming up. Well, so we have many other great conversations for the show as well, but uh, we also want to let you in. So get interactive. We have Facebook, join us on TV. We have a Twitter handle. We have uh, a YouTube channel. You can always get the latest news updates through myjoinonline.com. It's a great portal. It converges every type of news that is collected by our own, but also sorted out from the international portals. That's right. We'll uh, bring you all of that right here. Uh, in addition to sports, and of course, showbiz, uh, where Becky has been talking to Stoneboy. Can't wait for that. Well, definitely. So, um, please, let's bring you up to speed with the latest news headlines. But before we do that, we bring you the latest motivation. Indeed. Uh, oh, by the way, later we'll do uh, bring back our Tadi girls. We'll talk about what happened in Takrade uh, when the suspect, um, Samuel Udo Terg Wills, was uh, accosted and assaulted in court. Yeah, scary stuff. Maxwell Agbagba will also be in Kanishi First Light where, you know, there's some work going on and uh, we'll uh, bring you details of how our people of Accra are responding uh, and dealing with the roadblocks that have been caused as a result of this very important uh, work that needs to be done for drainage purposes. But right now, though, time for your message from the morning man. 